Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, my name is Ines Halwa. I am a lecturer of oral biology uh, at Faculty of Oral and Dental Medicine, Mr. International University, uh, a former uh, fellow year one, batch 2022. And my project advisor is my dear supervisor, Dr. Henyway. So the main scope of my project is teaching and learning. And my project title is Implementing Mobile Learning or M-Learning as a Student-Centered Interactive Teaching. Mm -hmm. So my timeline will be appearing in this Gantt chart. So uh, I started my project a little bit early. So yeah, let's call it soft open was in September when I started introducing my project to my department members. During the uh, fall semester, fall 21 and spring 22, I was both designing the assigned online activities, uh, me as well as my colleagues, for the sessions that we will be facilitating, uh, as well as implementing the actual approach uh, during the lecture sessions. Um, in January, we submitted I submitted the first project workbook, uh, and that was actually very useful uh, for me to arrange my thoughts, organize my thoughts, and um, have a clear framework of uh, my project. I also submitted the Project Progress Report uh, 1 in February, and that also further um, organized project. And in May, that was the second uh, progress report. And during this time, uh, March, April, and May, um, I was actually working on the design of the and the validation of the questionnaire, um, including a review of literature, um, as well as uh, having a meeting with my advisor uh, in order to prepare the questionnaire and according to Dr. Haney's uh, comments I modified my questionnaire and it was ready first questionnaire was ready in March uh, because I wanted to deliver it to the students before uh, the midterm exam and uh, the second questionnaire was um, available in uh, June and that was actually after the midterms and before the final um, I had a step that was a little bit I was behind on um, which was submission to the IRB um, for IRB approval or for the ethical committee and I did this in June um, I have uh, the initial um, acceptance by my faculty research committee and I'm waiting on the ethical approval. July, August and September, the time, the, the few months that we are having right now, I'm doing the data analysis for the data and the answers of the satisfaction uh, from the students. Uh, I'm doing my evaluation and working on um, any reforms that I will need to do and then I will be implementing them during the sustainability phase uh, of the project during the fall uh, 22 and spring uh, 23. In October, I will be holding a workshop to my department members and it uh, will be uh, very important for the ones who didn't actually participate in the project in order to make them familiar with the website that I'm using and strategy that I uh, am trying to implement uh, for these courses and hopefully by November and December I will be working on my poster uh, and be ready for the presentation um, in December or January. So actually I've learned a lot of lessons from uh, my work on this project. First thing is timeline. You should have a very clear time Line. You should be monitoring your timeline closely, recording all the details in a timely manner. Always have a plan B. Uh, and I learned it a um, hard way a little bit that the plan B has to be within your, like, yeah, make sure that you can do the project despite any restricted resources. Make sure that you can work it on low budget and don't rely on specific resources that if they are not available, the project will not be carried out. You have to have alternatives for your resources. The team is very important. You have to recruit your team, make the familiar with the strategy, with the project, and ensure the cooperation of your stakeholders before uh, you start the implementation. Students' feedback is very crucial uh, to hear your students if you are um, implementing any uh, project that is related to education, since they are the core of the process. You have to, to hear their feedback and listen closely to their comments. Since I'm using technology, technology is a great thing, but at the same time, it's a double-edged weapon. You have to use it cautiously and make sure that it actually serves your purpose. Uh, weigh your cost versus benefits. So make sure of all the free applications that you can use and all the free websites before deciding on paying options. Changes that I've made to my project, I'll start it from the last thing that I was talking about, which is the cost versus benefit. I was planning initially uh, to have a subscription for the website that I'm using and to pay for its annual fee. But at the end of the day, I use the free version. And the problem was that with the free version, you can only uh, allow 45 students to join the session. And my classes are between 60 and 65. Um, so to go around this obstacle, uh, I encouraged teamwork and they started to join uh, the session in teams. And um, although I thought first that being individual on individual work is best, actually, I found that teamwork was actually really good and it was more fun and more engaging uh, to the students. The second change that I will do uh, is designing a flow chart for the session and actually introduce the students to the strategy using this flow chart. So how will the session be carried out and how will flow work? And I will present this on the first session session 
uh, of the semester so that the students are familiar with how will the session be accomplished. And that was actually a recommendation from a faculty member of my uh, research committee. That's all for my project and thank you so much.